was the conflict? Like, what happened for you all to get to the point to where she said, I'm going to file child support on you? Uh, well, I was working out of town, Your Honor, mm -hmm. and uh, I was sending her about $500 a week, but she wasn't satisfied with that. She felt like she should have wow. $2,000 a week, and I just couldn't huh? do it, Your Honor. I couldn't survive. I was giving her that much money. And Hey, 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 Charisma here. Welcome back to Charisma Daily. On today, Judge Vonda's show, uh, Monique left her five children with their dad, Mikel, but not before she filed for child support on him. Mikel has had his children, has been in possession of the children for just only two months. Let's take a listen. All rise. Support court with Judge Vonda B is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1067, Daniel's case. Thank you. You're welcome. You may be seated. Okay. It looks like Miss Daniels brought this case uh -huh. before the court. And what's your name, sir? Michael. All right. Michael, well, what's your last name? I don't want to call you by your first name. Clough. Michael Clough. All right, Mr. Clough. Um, it looks as though you were brought to court. Unwillingly. To be, okay. It, to be put on child support, but right. she's not here. She's never here, Your Honor. She never shows up. All right, so tell me what's going on. Well, you know she brought you here for you to pay child support. So right. what's going on with you all's situation? I mean, uh, not too long ago, she dropped the kids off. Uh, she was in a strange vehicle saying she was about to come up on some money, and I haven't seen her since, Your Honor. Okay. And I'm taking <laughs> care of these kids. I got to go to work. I, I, I can't, you know, they my kids. I, you know, I had them, I made them, but, you know, I got to go to work. You know? Okay. How many kids are we talking? Uh, five. Five kids? She dropped out wow. five kids five with you? Five kids, Your Honor. No and clothes, kept going. no nothing. Who she was driving wow. the car? Could you see? I couldn't see. I, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> no, I don't. Maybe you don't. Tell me, tell me what you mean. I mean, you know, he, these women get with these strange guys, and, you know, they give them this false hope, and so she was in some kind of old cutlass with some 20s on it, and she rode off in the sunset, <laughs> haven't seen her since. And all five of the kids were in that car? All five of them sitting on each other. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was bad. Oh, my gosh. Are any of the kids in car seats or should be in car seats? No car seats. My youngest kid didn't even have a, any diapers, you know. And, I, and, you know, I called my mom and asked her. She said no. So uh, I had to wow. do what I had to do. Okay. Yeah. So how long ago did that happen? Like two months ago. Two months? Two months ago. Have you heard from her at all? Haven't heard from her at all. I, I love, sent her some texts uh, when I got the mail, the letter about coming to court. But right. I haven't heard anything. She since. abandoned her kids. Okay. Sad. Did she tell you she was going to bring you to court for child support? She did. She did. And then she dropped the kids off, and I haven't seen her since. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what was... So wait a second. She's bringing him to court for child support. But he's the one looking after the children. So she's trying to get the money for the child support while she's not looking after the child children. Messed up. The conflict, like what happened for you all to get to the point to where she said, I'm going to file child support on you? Uh, well, I was working out of town, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was sending her about $500 a week, but she wasn't satisfied with that. She felt like she should have wow. $2,000 a week. And I just couldn't what? do it, Your Honor. I couldn't survive i was giving her that much money and you know i tried to work it out with her and then i ended up getting a letter in the mail which i thought was crazy okay two thousand dollars any week. type of government assistance or anything uh no ma'am your honor i pay for everything okay you yes, pay for health insurance and everything like that all of it all of it and i work at mcdonald's you know and i can't afford that what? you know five kids mcdonald's salary it's hard out here <laughs> okay Four so kids. you're in management no, I work on the line. I'm a cook. Oh, okay. Okay, that's gotcha. Good. Best right. cook out here. I know that's right. Yeah. Too bad I don't eat at McDonald's. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll put your cooking skills to the test. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, but you cook other stuff, right? You can cook outside of oh, what yeah, you're making. Oh, I cook other stuff outside of work. Okay, all right. You do, like, private in-home stuff. So, like, if me and my husband needed a private chef, oh, no, you could you do that? Oh, your husband don't want the stuff I cook, Your Honor. <laughs> what, what you cook? Oh, I'm not at liberty to discuss that in the courtroom right now. Oh. Hello? Oh, yes. okay. Got you. Right. Right. Okay. If you I know what I mean. I don't know what you mean, but you know what? I don't even <laughs> want to know. Yeah, you probably don't. 
Okay, all right. So okay. this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead weird. and dismiss this case. I appreciate that. I appreciate no that. problem. I left them in the car, so uh, you know I really do got. This doesn't make any sense. Why would she do that? You know, bring this case against a, a court, even though this is a fictitious court. Um, it's based on an actual real case so even though there may be actors involved this is actually a case that they're dramatizing to, to to show us the foolishness actually so this is interesting but okay the woman must be crazy you left them by themselves what what a dog watching them there's a dog watching <laughs> there's a dog watching the kids what the kids in the yeah. car the dog is it like in the car shepherd? i have a german shepherd uh, no it's a poodle but he's trained Poodle. So you left the poodle with the kids. <laughs> How old is the oldest child? Uh, Eleven. Well, I guess that's not too bad. How old is the youngest child? Two. Oh, okay. It's not yeah. too too bad. But yeah. let me hurry up and get you out of here so you can go back and get with those kids. Uh, in the car, and I was just talking about this. And go, don't leave children in the car unattended, even though there's a poodle in the car. And you know, poodles, yes, are great watchdogs, but come on, do better. All right, there you have it. This was kind of um, a comedic type of episode of John Ra Judge Ronda because it doesn't make sense that this woman would bring the boyfriend or the husband to court for the kids' child support and she dropped off the kids and gone about her business. It just doesn't make sense. But then again, we're probably you're talking about modern women, so nothing makes sense when it comes to modern women. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Until next time, remember to subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a positive review if you're watching this on a podcasting streaming platform. And I look forward to hearing from you and your comments. Take care. Bye for now.